Welcome back, ladies and gents. Vanilla. Vanilla. Um, I've been busy. I've been very, very active. I've been enchanting things. As you can see, we have a bow, power four on breaking three, flame one. I managed to get a sweeping edge on breaking three book, which was awesome. Now we got a pretty nice sword. Um, pretty much put mending on most of my tools. I haven't done it on the bow yet. I'm a little bit short. What am I, too short? Am I too short? Excuse me. Come here. Anyways, I think I'm too short for amending on my bow. Definitely want to get that. But I also need to probably get it on my golden helmet for the nether. Uh, but we do have on breaking three. Um, pretty much all of our gear now. A little bit of protection going on here. We got some diamonds. We got some other stuff ready to go. And I went and farmed myself a gas tier or two. So, guess what we're about to do? Mm-hmm. Can you believe it? I can't. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie. It's gonna be fine. Actually, I have a pretty darn easy way to kill withers. And, of course, now that I said that, it means I'm probably gonna die an epic death. Um, but typically, the way I get things done when it comes to withers is pretty painless. Pretty easy. And you can do it very early on in most worlds. So, let's go give it a try. Because, why the heck not? Why the heck not? Um, I do recommend some milk buckets. I do recommend a regeneration potion. But typically, it's not necessary as well. I'm just being a little bit more on the cautious side of things. Um, so, basically, what you do is you go down into your branch mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Da, 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 all the way down into your branch mine and yes you do want to be in your branch mine okay you need to find a spot in your branch mine where it's pretty much just dead straight okay kind of like here is pretty good um, we have a little opening there we have a bigger opening over there I think this should be fine right here so what you do is you mine out a small little area kind of like that size right there Kind of like wither sized, if you know what I mean. Okay? You mine out a couple blocks and you place. Wait. What? Oh, I put one on my head. Ho ho ho. A little tiny panic attack. Whew. All right. Here we go. Are we doing this? We're doing this. Bam. No? What? What is, what is this? Hello? Did I. Oh, I think I need to remove these. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, I'll just close that up for a quick, quick, quick second here. I keep becoming a wither. Stop it. All right. Boom. Wither. Excellent. And then you basically back up. No big deal. Pretty straightforward. Okay. You let it do it its explosion thing, which it's about to do. You do need arrows. You do need a bow. Oh, wait. That's what I was afraid of. Typically... You can't do that, but sometimes they line up just right. And basically, you let him mine out whatever he's going to mine out. And you slowly back your way up in your mine. Okay? Typically, you get yourself with flame, you know, all that kind of stuff. You get him into this mode, and you just start with him down with your sword. Again, staying in the branch mine is pretty safe. But every once in a while, may get you. And that's no big deal. Okay? Oh. Come on, you. Let's go. Time for you to die. Give me your loot. There we go. Beautiful. And we got ourselves a nether star. Very nice, very nice. And a lot of building blocks. So like I said, it's pretty easy. It's not that complicated um, to get yourself a wither. Very minimal in terms of damage. Barely went through any arrows. What is that, 20 arrows, give or take? Um, yeah, pretty cost effective to get yourself your first nether star. Or at least that's the way I think. You guys let me know how you kill your first withers. I think that's a pretty darn good way to do it. So yeah, it does mess up your mind a little bit, but very very safe very safe and there you go 
we can just head on back up and we can get ourselves a beacon I know right can you believe it beacon already I'm so pumped because we got a lot of stuff to do and I have a great pickaxe for it efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 and mending which is amazing um, one thing of note that I wanted to bring up was I've actually had a minor complication so one thing is we are on 15a the brand new update for Minecraft in snapshot and of course is the new biome and stuff like that now I did explore the nether so we will have to travel a little further to find ourselves you know the new yeah. biome but I kind of want to do that if you know what I mean I really want to go find that biome so we may do a little bit of that here today um, all in due time of course I just need to get a couple of things situated first all right and one of those things is my inventory I hate having a clogged up inventory I don't know about you all but it drives me bonkers all right so we need what is it five Oof. I'm trying to remember oh good I do have obsidian okay I was a little worried that I wouldn't and I'd have to go do a quick mining but voila beacon beautiful so we got ourselves a beacon and we built that beautiful beautiful iron farm earlier on Guess what we can do now? Yes, we can utilize that iron to make ourselves a beacon. And as you can see, we've got a lot of it. So, that's what, two stacks worth right there? Give or take. And we'll take a few more just for good judgment. We'll let you guys keep on producing your golems. Good work, everyone. This is what I came back to talk about, you know, when I made the iron farm in the first place. Very easy to set up. Um, cheaply made iron farm and yeah as you can see a couple episodes in have more than enough iron to basically make an entire beacon so that's really really exciting um, for me anyways because yeah beacons are a pretty darn powerful tool um, probably one of the if not one of the most powerful tools in the game so I'm gonna make myself just a whole bunch of stacks of stuff here and uh yeah we will basically be ready to go 64 iron blocks Ooh. it might be faster to go like this though right just clicking it in yeah more than likely oh god could you imagine making that many doors oh that'd be a lot of doors all right i'm going to start the process of building a beacon out here in this area right next to the iron farm here basically and the main reason for that is this is going to hit our mine down below this is going to hit pretty much everywhere I don't care that it's gonna be standing out or anything like that too much um, but we we have all this area to dig so we got to do a lot of digging so um, I'm just trying to remember do I need silk touch for a beacon it's been a while it's been a while you know what, let me build the pyramid and stuff like that. I'm going to double check the dimensions. I'm a little rusty at vanilla, not going to lie. I'm going to double check everything and uh, yeah, I'll build the beacon and we will be able to really start mining. Alright, so we're pretty much tapping into all of our resources at this point in time. Oh man, I'm so close. Off by one. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Uh, I need nine... And we'll take a couple of pieces just in case. There we go. Poppies. Get out of my inventory, Poppy. Oh, man. I don't have a crafting bench. Dang it. All right. We got to walk back over. We were so close. Off by one. I miscounted. My bad. You know, I, I can't count. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. All right. So, anyways, we should right away here have ourselves a beacon and a max level beacon and the best part about this is the hardest part is kind of building your first one right like getting your first beacon set up and done is kind of sort of the hard part but once it's done you always have your bacon you can move your beacon you can do all of that type of stuff now the main thing that we're definitely going to be doing is haste two here um nothing else um i want the haste two. that is exactly what i want because it is going to be very beneficial for us 
um, in terms of mining out all of this stuff. And with our efficiency 5 pickaxe, hopefully this goes pretty much instant. Uh, this is the pinnacle of mining in Minecraft uh, vanilla, in my opinion. So, yeah, this is this feels very nice. Very, very nice. I like it quite a bit. All right, good. Good, good, good. Beacon is going to help me a lot. I've been kind of sort of just dabbling for the most part around here. Um, so I'm really excited to finally get into this type of a setup. The other thing that's going to help me out with as well is, like I said uh, before, in down in the mines, right? Um, having yourself a haste to buff while you're down there is going to be very beneficial. So, anyways, I'm going to go to some work here. Lots of work. Um, clearing out just some stuff. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to do my damage. Uh, probably get down to the nitty gritty on the pickaxe here and then I'll explain to you one of my problems that I've been having in the um, in the nether and then maybe we can find ourselves the new the new setup the new uh, biome in the nether and for many reasons um, one of the main reasons I definitely want to find it is I just want to make sure that I have all of my options available to me when it comes to designing this base, right? I had an idea, but they keep releasing new stuff. So I wanna make sure that there's not something better based off of what I had before. So yeah, that's at least my thought process here. So I definitely wanna find Blackstone. That stuff looks pretty darn good. Um, and then there's also Basalt in that area. So that would make finding Basalt quite a bit easier as well. So I, I want to find that too. And just kind of see if either of those blocks are something that we want. Um, as like a main building block for the base. Or, you know, even just a potential future uh, building block of the base. Right? So, or for, you know, maybe like a nether room or something along those lines. Right? So, yeah. A lot of good things. Anyways, I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the beacon. I know I am super pumped about it. Um, and I can keep on clearing out quite a bit of land here, which is great. Hopefully it also helps with the grass. So let's actually test that quickly too, because I still only have a 53. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're in business now, ladies and gents. No big deal. All right. I don't know about you all, but that's music to my ears. I'll see you back in a few. All right, so we've had a little bit of progress. Empty. Now, I could probably go to town with this guy as well, but right now, well, it's already like midnight and digging things out. Good times, right? Good times had by all. Um, I don't know why the cats keep spawning, but they do. So, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to build up some scaffolding because I got rid of my way up otherwise. And huzzah, we are good to go. Beautiful. Uh, I might prop that one up one more a little bit later on. But as you can see, we are pretty much ready to go into the nether. Now, I do not want to use either of those items. So I'm going to absolutely remove them off of my bar to make sure that I don't accidentally utilize them. Okay, um, I'm just going to eat this milk. I forgot that you can't really place it in the world. That's fine. I should have known better. Um, we'll do that up. Let's see. We got some eggs. That's good. Uh, let's see about getting some more chickens. I'd like to get some, I'm mainly thinking feathers at this point in time. We don't need a ton or anything like that, but to have the eggs, to have the feathers, all that type of stuff is pretty darn good. So, oh yeah, those were those were really beneficial. That was great. Okay. So, without further ado, let's go to the nether. Right? That's where we got to go. That's where we're going. We're going right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, that's looking good. Those massive lava pools. I got to make so many buckets to get rid of that lava. I don't think... I don't think I can just get rid of it, if you know what I mean. 
I think I gotta actually save it. Yeah, I'm that guy. I think I gotta make a whole bunch of buckets. Luckily, we have the iron farm, right? That's our saving grace time and time again. That's what we keep talking about, right? So, um, anyways, we are in the nether. And as you can see, I've started slabbing out a good portion of the floor here. It's not completed yet, um, but we do have a few changes. Now, one of the interesting things here is, and I'm not going to do all this farming and whatnot on, you know, with the camera on and all that type of stuff. This has two durability. I definitely want to repair that so that I don't accidentally um, wear it out. But one of the things is, is this is working amazingly. It absolutely is. All the blazes, they filter exactly where they're supposed to, all in due time, as soon as their wander um, mechanic kicks in. So it's working really, really well for, you know, the 116 snapshot 15A anyways, right? Um, the biggest problem that I'm having is if I have blaze up here or some spawn in, when I hit a blaze down here, they just stop moving. They don't go into a wander cycle. It's almost like they're frightened, if you know what I mean. Like, they just don't move at that point in time. So, I'm not sure what's causing that, and I'm not sure if there's a way to fix it. Uh, maybe some of you Vanilla Sleuths can figure it out. I know myself, I've been thinking of a couple things, like maybe I have a piston that pushes a block, because maybe it's line of sight, right? Maybe... Maybe they can, maybe that'll stop it, but I haven't really done any testing whatsoever. So, and the only way to resolve it is to literally log out of your world, log back in, or, you know, despawn them and come back. Those are the two main ways of fixing it. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the only flaw that I have at this point in time. I'm going to do a quick little repair, nothing too crazy. We probably won't go to max or anything like that, and I'll get to level 30 again. And uh, then I want to go find a new biome. All right, I'll come back a little bit later on uh, and finish, you know, fixing up my tools and everything like that. Um, like I said, Blaze Farm works pretty darn good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, just one of those little, little details. I'm going to head just in this general direction, um, which is, what is this? Negative, negative X right so i'm just gonna head in the negative x direction and more or less see what i can find see what i can see i've got a ton of ravines in my nether and they seem to be a pain to traverse um i should probably look at bringing some of my you know crazy amounts of ender pearls <laughs> with me um all these endermen that are in the nether absolutely bonkers when it comes to uh the amount of inner pearls that I've gotten from just slaying them over and over again. Um, but yeah, we got a gold helmet on, so we're fine there. And as you can see, this nether has been a bit of a pain to get around. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to bore you guys with just walking around in this dark nether, right? I mean, that's pretty boring. You guys, you guys want content. You guys want flash I'll be back once I find something new all right so I did find something new um the soul speed blocks I think that's what these are called soul soil my apologies so I found some soul soil which is cool um there's bones over here which is cool We'll get some of that. I uh, got soul sand. Uh, we'll grab these guys as well. Never can go wrong with additional bones, right? So we got soul soil. We got uh, bones. And there's some crimson nilium over here. So I believe this is a crimson forest. So I definitely want to grab a little bit of this. Just because I don't have any yet. Yeah, crimson nilium. So we should be in... Uh, let's see, Crimson Forest, that's what it's called, Crimson Forest Biome here, and, oh, there we go, there we go, now, I've never been in this biome, so I have no clue, I know that n Nether Enderman spawn in the other one, I have no clue what spawns over here, but
But I do want to take some of the resources uh, just so that we have them, right? It looks to be almost the same as the other one. Um, just red, if you know what I mean. So, I still haven't tried to take one of these. I should take one. Yeah, there we go. We got one. We got one. We got one. I think for the most part, it's pretty much a duplicate of the other one. But just different textures and different items. Um, so, yeah, like this Crimson Millium. Now you have a red block, which is cool. And then the Crimson Stems themselves, you can make into like almost like a purplish red uh, wood plank, which is kind of cool, right? Just adding more variety, more flexibility. And then, nope, yes, okay. And then weeping vines. Okay, so instead of the blue vines that go up, these ones are weeping style. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's good. We found a new biome. Let's keep going and find the other one. Soul Sand Valley. Is this the one? Is this what we're talking about? What's that? Basalt. What's this? <gasps> we're here. Blackstone. Hello. This looks pretty darn cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, we definitely need to grab some of this stuff. It's pretty dark and gloomy. And it wasn't that far, which is good. Uh, let's grab some of this basalt as well. Um, mm, okay. Okay. This isn't that far away, which is good. It's a little bit of a pain to get to. I'm going to take a quick little screenshot here so that I save where this is. And it's right next to a crimson and a warped as well. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, lots of potential. <gasps> Look at this thing. Oh my lord. This is so cool. With the ash and the everything. Basalt deltas. We have found I think all of the new biomes and this is a great way to farm magma slime by the way um, they all spawn here so that's really good to know you also have to be cautious because it's very easy to get overwhelmed by these guys um, if you are not fully prepared so keep that in mind um, don't go too crazy if you know what I mean you don't want to destroy your golden helmet or your golden gear right but yeah let's take a look at this place that is pretty darn cool hello nope. no thank you thanks so much oh that gets you though I gotta go gotta get it gotta get it this is very cool very very cool there's also the blue fire which is cool um apparently enderman here as well yeah there's a lot, oh, this place looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty darn cool. Um, I definitely could see a fun little, you know, maybe like a build or something. Dude, I mean, it might be a pain to deal with all the magma slime though, but this could be good. This could be real good. I'm going to do a little bit of digging and farming. Yeah, I forgot about that live one. I'm going to do some farming up in here um, in a little bit of a safer spot. You know, make sure I'm away from magma slimes and such. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do in this world overall. So, yeah. We got a lot to do. And I hope you guys are in it for the long haul because I know I am. And, yeah keep coming back this is like a whole new modded world basically um i don't know what else to say other than that so i'm gonna get some resources and i'm gonna head back to the blaze farm thank you all so much for watching leave a like subscribe love to get your opinions on what you think of this new biome i like it i think it's pretty darn awesome so anyways that's it for me it's pretty dark in the video though isn't it but anyways, that's it. Have a good one.